Okay. <clears throat> you too. Kick. Um, just wanted to make this quick little video. This will be a short one. Um, I saw something interesting today. And this, I just, this is just a random video. It's not really about anything. It's a really short topic. But I'm so amazed at some people who are so dedicated to their uh, faith sometimes. So as y'all know, I go to confessions. I am Catholic. Um, and I went there today uh, during this stream, if y'all are watching this live. <clears throat> and after I went there, I went up there and uh, I was talking to a guy who had been sitting there waiting for confession for you know how long? For five hours. I was surprised, man. You know, it's just crazy. Some people say they don't want to go to confession because they think it's going to take too long or they think that they, they got too much to say. It's crazy. Like me, I go to confession every week, you know, because I screw up every week. <laughs> um, the, the goal is to not have to go to confession every single week for a little bit. I, was, I didn't have to go to confession for a couple months, but, you know, life goes on. But it's just amazing to see that somebody who is he was looking for a church to go do his confession and you know he said I, I hit this one up and he waited five hours to do confession that's so amazing and uh i just think it's great i'm just making this quick little thing to say this you know um it was it's because of that is the reason it's people like him is the reason i always i don't lose hope you know we talked about despair in our last video and that's the reason i always keep going because i always know there's somebody out there who has a harder life than me and i'm saying he did because it looks like he had a better life than me but <clears throat> nonetheless um, i'm saying like there's people who are willing to really put in this work and to really wait the things out i'm sure there's people in the other places of the world who may wait two to three days before confession <clears throat> and sit outside the church and just wait and uh it's just amazing to see that um the, the kind of people who um take this stuff seriously um i don't know how seriously you take it obviously but i'm just saying you know this world is going to end one day for us when I say world's gonna end, I mean <clears throat> one day all of us are gonna pass away, you know. And I'm just saying, don't have wasted your whole life trying to be um, this um, place or trying to get to this place of pure peace without giving any faith to anything. Um, it's just too many people are starting to lose just wanting to live so free because they see everybody do it on Instagram. I understand it's hard. Listen, I understand it's hard to want to be disciplined and want to be that. Trust me, I'm a fat guy trying to lose weight. If there's anybody I know about discipline in this this sense as well, um, and it's hard for me, but I've been doing much better. And uh, <clears throat> it's just it's just it's just a tough thing. I just don't want any of you guys to feel like you have to just give up or you want to live this fake life that you see on the internet, where it's just oh vacation, beaches, jumping in the water. I want to tell you guys something. As much fun as that looks. First of all, you're seeing a snippet. We have no idea what's going on with their lives outside of that clip. And another thing is, have you ever been to the beach? You ever been jumped in the pool? You ever gone on vacation? It is fun for a little bit, but it's not fun forever. The thing that make vacation and all that stuff so sweet is because you sacrifice all these other times to do it. You know, the reason why it's nice to do stuff in your 50s and 60s is because you sacrifice earlier to work and make sure your family was taken care of it is no fun and i understand everybody wants to be a millionaire and just do whatever they want but you notice the people who do get that kind of money who do get really wealthy what is the one of the first things they do get on the internet to get validation you see all these people who are taking these trips even if they have the money to do that why do you think they have to put it on the internet for you to see it's supposed to be about memories right for yourself no they have to put it on there for you to see why because they want validation still even though they have all this money and they can go vacation all the time they're still taking pictures and still doing all these videos for you to make you seem like hey look here's what i'm doing here's what you're not doing i need somebody to say oh i wish i could go there i need likes i need views <sighs> even when people get it all they still want more just remember that enjoy your vacation enjoy your time but life isn't about just abundance of easiness Life is going to be hard. There should be some suffering. It grows you as a person. And uh, just take just take that in the, um, your mind. Okay, peace.